Sentry mode activated. Target acquired. Hey there, hunters. Been killing a lot of time lately before Monster Hunter Rise comes out, so I know I haven't posted anything relevant in a while, sorry about that, but let's try to fix that. Now recently I've gotten back into playing Double Cross on Citra, the 3DS emulator, because it runs fantastically now, assuming you have a fairly good PC. But also, Arati, one of the Monster Hunter World modders, had started working on modding Double Cross on the 3DS. The first mod he made was a buff to Prowler scaling, which is my favorite weapon, so I was very interested in playing that again. I figured if anyone else out there wanted to give it a shot, that I'd break it all down, show you how to set up Citra, and get this thing going. So first, the reasoning behind this mod. Now if you're unaware of Prowler mode, in Generations you can play as a cat, which is basically the 15th weapon. It's on the guild card, it counts. Well, in Generations, they were pretty good, like solid C or B tier weapon. But with the transition to Generations Ultimate, cats got nerfed to holy hell. Like in high rank, Prowler weapons had like 10 less raw than the G rank counterpart. It would be like you using your hunter's high rank weapons, but in a G rank game. Now, not only that, but their stat scaling was lowered so they pretty much had the same or less raw even at level 99 in G rank as they did at level 50 in high rank. Then of course they nerfed World Strongness, a passive ability that gave them a fuck ton of raw in exchange for not being allowed to use armor. And they nerfed their motion values of their boomerangs, and yeah, they kind of killed cats pretty damn hard. So you were effectively weaker in G rank than you were in high rank, but now you're fighting monsters that have three times the amount of HP. So what Arati had done was simply adjusted the raw scaling on cat weapons. For example, the Garuga fan in high rank is like 164 raw, 20 poison, and like 5% infinity. In G rank, it's 179 raw, 35 poison, and 10% infinity. It's like a non-upgrade, like 10 raw and 10 poison, it's fucking nothing. But in the modded version, it's 268 raw and 52 poison. Basically, it's like a 50% damage boost. Now, it seems like a lot, 268 is kind of a big jump from 179. However, it's not really a whole lot when every other weapon is sitting at 290 to 320 raw weapons. None of the motion values for attacks are changed, this is simply a damage scaling mod on the weapons. Now I do have to say this is a mod because it's not a ROM hack or a cheat you input, it's literally an external file you run with the game. But with this mod, cats have been killing stuff pretty good. I mean they're not overpowered by any means, I just finished the Lao Shan Lung Urgent, which is like the G2 Urgent, and it took my cats still like 30 minutes to kill them. So I mean, trust me, they're not OP, but they're still very fun. Anyway, enough with this rant, but let's get into the setup. First, you're going to need the Citra Nightly build, not Canary. So when you go to the Citra website and download the installer, make sure you select the Nightly build when you install it. It's easy enough, can't mess it up, I hope. And then you're going to need to get your Double Cross CIA or 3DSX file. Now I can't show you how to do this, but as of making this video, it's still pretty readily available. You just got to do some internet finagling. Also, you can just use your own. Also, if you have your save from your 3DS, you can still use that as well, so just a heads up, you can just drop it into your PC. Now when you have your game file, you can install the CIA from the drop down menu in Citra, or you can click the add new game directory and locate the folder where your 3DS X file is and just that should pop up anyway there. But either way, you should have had them just right there on the home screen. Now once you have your game installed, you can put the mod file in. Just right click the double cross icon, and then you can select go to open mods location. And this option isn't available if you're running like Canary or Silver Lake or one of the other off versions as far as I can tell. You need to be running nightly for this. If you don't already have a mod folder, it may just make you one or it might just take you to the roots folder. Not really sure about that one. By the way, it's no big deal. The folder is in your app data, which you can get by typing percent app data percent in your search bar and going into roaming and Citra and yeah. In case you want to get your other Citra files, it's all right there. Now with the mod file, just take the folder with a bunch of numbers, which is the game ID, and just drop that into the mods folder. And you're done. That's it. So the other thing you want to do to get Double Cross running well is that you need to set up the cheats file to make the game run at 60 frames and have better draw distance. Easy enough to do. Hit, go to the start, you know, hit make a new cheat, drop in the code, which I'll have linked in the bottom of the description down here. Hit apply, and that's it. 
you're running the game at 60 frames now and it makes it look as smooth as butter. I didn't really mess with the other options, but you can technically overclock the 3DS CPU, which can make games run better, but I haven't really touched that, haven't needed to. And for graphics, I'm still running at three times native resolution. I don't get any frame drops at all, but at four times, it's kind of iffy. So I'm still playing at three times, uh, but that's basically it. It's super easy to get into Monster Hunter on Citra. That being said, you do need a good CPU to run it properly, but it runs great and it looks awesome. Definitely better than the Switch version of GU. Now the other cool thing here is that you can play online with Citra. So while you can't play on Nintendo servers with other people, you and your friends can play co-op in Citra, which is just great. Now I've been having a blast just playing as cats again. I feel like Generations Prowler all over again. GU cats had a lot of cool new additions with their beast cat styles added to their cats like Adept Guard, Adept Evade, Aerial, new utility skills, but unfortunately they were just nerfed way too hard and it made them the worst weapon in the game. Like even Gunlance and Hunting Horn are better than cats. And I get it, some weapon has to be the worst in the game, why not cat? I just feel their nerf was unjust. So like most nerfs done by Capcom, when they nerf something, they nerf them into the ground. So this mod has been a good change of pace for GU since now I don't have to play Valor Heavy Bow Gun, Valor Longsword, Valor Heavy Bow, stuff like that. Plus, you know, we all needed some time to burn while we wait for Rise, because I mean, I don't think Cyberpunk's gonna take us three months to play. So Double Cross is a good thing to be coming back to, especially now that cats are actually usable and I can actually enjoy them and play them without, you know, taking 30, 40 minutes to do a quest. So yeah, anyway, that's basically all for me. Thank you all for watching and good luck out there hunters and whatever you may be hunting.